Hey everyone, and welcome to Set Chocolate Chat. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you the uh, software setup and installation of my Lexmark printer. Um, in the in my previous in my previous three videos, uh, I unboxed it, and then uh, I uh, set up the hardware, which is two videos. And this is where you know it would be handy if YouTube bumped their 50 minute limit to a 20 limit minute or minute limit. Yeah, I'm always gonna complain about something. Anyway, this is the installation. Um, well, this was the installation. It automatically did a bunch of stuff. The ear printer is ready to use. However, to get the most from your printer, click OK to download and install additional software from Lexmark. Okay. Actually, no. We won't do that. What we're gonna do. So we're gonna make sure the device is actually there, which, uh, oh, here it is, Lexmark 5600 6, series. That's actually, uh, it, it, it installed it by itself, which is pretty awesome. Oh, and there's a picture of the printer, which is totally cool. This is my previous printer, but I'm gonna delete this since, you know, it's out in the garage right now. And it never will be in my room again. So we're gonna remove this device. The one that gave me all that trouble. Oh, there we go, the Lexmark is installed. And, uh, that's basically that. Um, a pretty lame video, but, uh, I'm gonna make it a little bit more interesting by popping in uh, the CD that came with it. So we're gonna have all this, this fun stuff to install. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in here, and I'm actually going to just, uh, open everything up. And you know what? I'm not gonna do that, because that's lame. Instead, what I'm gonna do is, um, well, turn on the printer. It's now on. And I'm gonna print some stuff. To test out and make sure, uh, uh, make sure that it still works. So I'm gonna go in here to Word. Okay, well, let's open up a document. Any document will work. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's see if I want to print this. I don't want to, but uh, I'll do this anyway. Um, going good to go into print. There it is, connecting the printer. It's ready. Nice. Print a copy of this and print. Put the mic by the printer so you can hear it. Print. Oh. Um, I don't know how much of that you heard, because this is a very quiet printer. But, um, it printed. It worked. Yay. This is what I've been trying to get my previous printer to do for the past six months since I upgraded to Windows 7. It was a real pain, because I've been without a printer for this entire time. But, my printer works. I installed the, uh, the, um, the, the, the cartridges, right? I was a little bit worried that I mixed up the black and the the, the color, but um, no, everything came out fine. Because if it didn't, then uh, my well, it wouldn't look normal. But anyway, throw that paper out. That's that. Basically, my printer works, and that was the software installation. I'm sorry you missed it, but that's just I don't know, why did I even open that. That's just another thing to show you that uh, Windows 7 is completely awesome because it installed that all by itself. It just went there. I, I plugged the printer in and completed the initial setup on the printer itself, and then all of a sudden it went boom, 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 installed the drivers, everything, and set up, set up the printer, which is it's totally cool. Um, and it prints fast. Very nice printer. Um, and it, it really surprises me. For $40, you can get that. Anyway, that's all for this video. Uh, and watch later for my review of the printer itself, which is a very, very, very nice printer. That's all for this video, and have a great day.